we have two statement statement one is 80000 square meter of forest was burned last year and statement two is forest equal to 20 football grounds was burned last year which statement is more understandable of course the statement number 2 and why is that because we could relate to the size of a football ground we can imagine the size of a football ground right and that is the reason why we could relate to the second statement immediately imagining 8000 square meter ground is tough but the moment i said 20 football grounds i have the idea of the size of that forest well the bottom line is we always get a better idea of something if we compare it with something similar right and the same thing is also followed in electrical engineering and it is called the per unit system we are going to talk about the per unit system for electrical engineers in this video so per unit system is generally used in the power system calculations or analysis it is generally used to calculate short circuit current power flow and machine studies you will have interaction with the per unit system while studying power system and subjects related to power system now before we understand what is per unit system let me give you one example let's say in a city average weight of people is 60 kg now using 60 kg as our base value we can compare weight of any person in the city in terms of the base weight for example a person weighing 90 kg would have a per unit weight of 1.5 similarly if another person is weighing 50 kg then the per unit weight could be 0.833 doing it in this way makes it really easy to understand for instance if a person per unit weight is 1.4 we immediately can identify that this person's weight is more than the average weight and we can also easily identify its actual weight to make thing more clear let me give you example of our power system by the way if you want to know what is power system then you can watch my video on that link is in the description of this video we know that we generate electricity at lower voltage that is 11 kv then this 11 kv is stepped up for a transmission purpose the voltage range is in between 145 kv to 800 kv then the voltage is stepped down to a sub transmission phase in which the voltage level is between 72.5 kv to 36 kv and further at the time of distribution the voltage is further stepped down to 11 kv or 440 volts or 230 volts now imagine you are doing a load flow study for short circuit calculation you would have to deal with so many different voltage level which will make the calculation very difficult right so when we deal with the complete power system where there will be hundreds of generators hundreds of transformers different interconnecting transmission lines the calculation will definitely get more and more complicated and per unit system is the solution for this complexity just like the weight of the people in the city we can make a base for the voltage and have a much easier calculations so on the left hand side you can see the voltage values without consideration of per unit system and on the right hand side you can see the simple values obtained by per unit system method here we have considered 100 kv as the base value i'll tell you about how you can do this in few minutes you can see here how easy it becomes to identify the values and use it in the calculation when we use the per unit values basically we are dealing with less numbers than earlier and this is not only applicable for voltages but also for current power and also for impedance now we understood why per unit system is important and how it can make the calculation easy now let's see how we can get the per unit values so let us continue with our voltage example but you can apply the same thing to values of current or impedance or power or any 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 other parameter so first thing we need to select a base now this base can be arbitrary now arbitrary means any random value you can select so you can select even 100 kv you can select 200 kv or even 400 kv no issues at all you can select any value any random value so 
first thing what we will do we will let us let us consider the base as 100 kv so when the base is 100 kv what we will do we will simply divide the voltage rating with our base that is 100 and we will do the same thing for other voltage rating also so you see for 800 kv the per unit value becomes 8 pu now per unit value is always written with the letters pu that indicates per unit okay so similarly you can see for 145 kv the per unit value becomes 1.45 and anywhere let's say your power system's base is 100 kv you refer the number 1.45 and anybody in the power system will understand okay this is 145 kv voltage level right so similarly we can also do it considering 200 kv as a base so we will do what we will do we'll divide the voltage rating with our base and you see you get all the per unit value similarly you can do it considering 400 kv as base so you can select any base for your calculation and you are good to go there is no rule as such that you should select this number or you should select that number no it is not like that any random value can be selected since here we used only one value as our base it is also called as per unit values with single base please note as i said whenever per unit values are given they are always pure numbers and always written with pu which stands for per unit in this way calculations are simplified because quantities expressed as per unit do not change with uh, when they are referred from one side of the transformer to the other this can be a huge advantage in power system analysis where large number of transformers are connected and this method can also be used for impedance short circuit current power etc the main idea of a per unit system is to absorb the large differences in absolute value into base relationship thus the representation of element in the system with per unit value becomes more uniform also if somebody is referring let's say power in in per unit system then you should know the base that has been considered without the information of the base it would be difficult to do any calculation so even if somebody says ki power is 1 pu now you do not know what is the base so you cannot calculate what could be the actual power so it is important that you know the base uh, which was considered while getting the per unit values so this is how per unit system can help you make calculation little easy and that's why this system is widely used of course nowadays computer does all the calculation but the results are still given in the form of per unit system so i hope you found this video helpful and if you did the only request i have is please like the video and do share it with your friends that's all i ask That's all for this video guys I'll see you in my next one but till then keep watching keep learning